example. In this clip, I'm going to give you a simple process for solving triangular arbitrage questions. First, recognize the type of information you will get and the types of questions that you are likely to see on your exam. With a question, there are going to be three parts. Number one, you'll be given some context. Then you will be given interbank rates for two currency pairs and you'll be given dealer bid offer rates. In terms of types of questions, here are three broad categories. You might be asked, what are the set of transactions to take advantage of the arbitrage opportunity? Or you might be asked to calculate the arbitrage profit where you are given the dealer's base currency. And a third scenario is where you are asked to calculate the arbitrage profit using a third currency. First, the basic process. Number one, I always want you to think in terms of base currency and price currency. So if you have a currency pair A and B, then here this is the base currency and this is the price currency. Let's say that this rate is 50. What that means is 50 units of A will buy one unit of B. The other thing to keep in mind is what I call rule number one of finance always buy low and sell high. For almost every triangular arbitrage question, you will need to do the following. Number one, you will have to calculate the cross rate implied by the interbank market. And number two, you will need to compare this rate and we'll call it the interbank rate. You will need to compare that with the dealer rate. Let me give you a simple example. Say we are dealing with three currencies, A, B and C, and you are given a dealer rate for A over C, where C is the base currency, A is the price currency. And let's say that the dealer rate is 100 slash 102. So this means that the bid is 100 and the offer is 102. Now, let's also say that we are given the interbank rates for A, B and B, C. We calculate the implied interbank rate by multiplying these two. So we do A over B times B over C and this will give us A over C. So notice we already have the dealer rate. We need to come up with the implied cross rate based on the interbank rates. And to calculate A over C bid, we need to multiply A over B bid by B over C bid. A over C offer is going to be the AB offer times the BC offer. So once we've calculated this implied interbank rate, it needs to be compared with the rate being offered by the dealer. Let's say we do this calculation and we end up with 98.99. So in the interbank market, the implied AC bid is 98 and the offer is 99. Now, look at these two points over here. We say that if the dealer bid is greater than the interbank offer, then buy the base currency in the interbank market and sell to the dealer. So this is using rule number one. We always buy low, sell high. And the way you remember this is using this acronym, the BIGIO. DB stands for dealer bid, G greater than interbank offer. So just remember this, the bigio means that there is an arbitrage opportunity and you need to buy low, sell high. The other scenario where you have an arbitrage opportunity is if the dealer offer is less than the interbank bid. In this case, again, you buy low, sell high. So you buy the base currency from the dealer because this is low and sell in the interbank market because the interbank rate is high. And you remember this using the acronym DOLIP, dealer offer less than interbank bid. Now, these two steps will almost always have to be done in a triangular arbitrage question. At times you are asked to calculate the arbitrage profit and for that you'll need to do additional steps depending on precisely what is asked. So let's do a few questions which will illustrate what I'm talking about. First, this question which deals with what transactions to carry out. 
this is the context so you can read through this very fast and then we are given interbank rates over here and we are given a dealer's bid offer rate in this case the dealer is talking about INR to PKR here PKR is the base currency INR is the price currency so the first thing to do is to come up with INR to PKR bid and offer in the interbank market so the INR to PKR bid is equal to the INR to USD bid multiplied by the USD to PKR bid INR to USD bid is this given that's right here INR to USD bid is this number so this is going to be 68.221 multiplied by USD to PKR bid but here there is a slight complication because here we have PKR as the base currency but the quote shows USD as the base currency so we need to invert we need the USD to PKR bid to get this we have to take the reciprocal of the offer so the USD to PKR bid is the inverse of the offer over here so we multiply by 1 over 104.95 and when we do this calculation we get 0 0.65 so this is the bid now in terms of the offer the INR to PKR offer is equal to the INR over USD offer which is 68.245 multiplied by 1 over the bid so that would be 1 over this number which is 104.75 and when we do this calculation we get 0 0.65 one five now coming up with these cross rates represented step number one from my previous slide now we come to step number two which is making the comparison so is the dealer bid so the dealer bid is this number is this greater than the interbank offer the answer is it is not so we don't have an arbitrage opportunity here what about the other condition the other condition is dealer offer less than interbank bid now the dealer offer is this number now since this is the low number this is the high number the arbitrage transaction will involve buying over here remember rule number one buy low sell high so we are going to buy the base currency which is the PKR from the dealer and we are going to sell the base currency which is the PKR in the interbank market so the best answer then becomes B buying PKR the base currency from the dealer and selling in the interbank market next question here we need to calculate profit given a dealers base currency so again we have some context and then we are given the interbank rates with these interbank rates the base currency is the Hong Kong dollar and then we have a dealers bid side quote for the Japanese yen to New Zealand dollar which is this much we need to calculate the profit on New Zealand dollar one so notice here we are being asked to calculate the profit using the base currency from the dealer quote again step number one is always calculating the implied interbank offer rate so what is that we need the Japanese yen to New Zealand dollar but here we can save a little bit of time we are only given the bid side quote on the dealer side to determine whether there's an arbitrage profit or not this needs to be compared with the interbank offer rate so we just need to calculate the interbank offer rate for Japanese yen to New Zealand dollar so Japanese yen to New Zealand dollar interbank offer rate is going to be equal to Japanese yen to Hong Kong offer multiplied by Hong Kong 
dollar to New Zealand dollar offer. Now Japanese yen to Hong Kong dollar offer is given right here. So Japanese yen Hong Kong dollar is the base currency we are looking for the offer so that is 14.08 multiplied by Hong Kong dollar to New Zealand offer but the challenge here is we are given this currency with Hong Kong dollar as the base currency but over here New Zealand dollar is the base so we need to take the inverse to come up with the offer we need to take the inverse of the bid so we do 1 over the bid which is 0 0.18 and when we do this calculation we get 78 point so notice in the interbank market when we do Japanese yen over New Zealand dollar we have this number in the dealer market we have 80.00 there is an arbitrage opportunity because the dealer bid is greater than the interbank offer and on one New Zealand dollar which is the base currency the profit will be measured in terms of Japanese yen that profit is the difference between these two numbers now the third and final sort of question for this clip again we have the same currencies the rates have changed a little now the dealers bid side quote for Japanese yen to New Zealand dollar is this much and we want to find the profit on a hundred million Hong Kong dollars the first step is the same we again need to calculate the implied cross rate in the interbank market so let's do that note however that we are given the bid side quote which means that in the interbank market we only need to find the offer so we need the Japanese yen to New Zealand dollar offer rate which is going to be equal to Japanese yen to Hong Kong offer times Hong Kong over New Zealand offer and those numbers are given in this table Japanese yen to Hong Kong offer is 14.08 multiplied by Hong Kong to New Zealand offer which is based on these numbers this is going to be 1 divided by 0 0.18 the offer will be the inverse of the bid so this gives us 78.22 given what we are being asked over here we need to ignore the Canadian dollar so on your exam you might be given a table like this and there will be another question that uses the Canadian dollar for this particular question we do not need to use the Canadian dollar so anyway we've done step number one which is to come up with the implied interbank offer rate the second step is to compare this with the dealer now the dealer number is higher so we will be selling to the dealer and we will be buying in the interbank market so what are we buying and selling it's always the base currency so we are selling the base currency which is the New Zealand dollar to the dealer and we need to buy the base currency which is the New Zealand dollar in the interbank market the challenge here though is that we are starting with a hundred million Hong Kong dollars so we have a hundred million Hong Kong dollars what do we do next and this is where many students struggle but we've already established that we need to buy New Zealand dollars in the interbank market so if we have Hong Kong dollars 100 million the first thing we do is go into the interbank market and buy New Zealand dollars because we've established that we need to be buying New Zealand dollars in the interbank market now buying New Zealand dollars means selling Hong Kong dollars so we look at the interbank market rates so the relevant row is over here the base currency is the Hong Kong dollar we are selling Hong Kong dollars buying New Zealand dollars selling the base currency which means that we have to use the bid rate of 0 0.18 
So we multiply by 0 0.18. So this would be 100 million Hong Kong dollars times 0 0.18 New Zealand dollars over Hong Kong dollars. The Hong Kong, Hong Kong cancels out and we are left with 18 million New Zealand dollars. So New Zealand dollars, 18 million. Now we've established that we need to sell New Zealand dollars to the dealer. That's what we have over here because this number was higher than 78.22. So in the dealer market, we are going to sell this many New Zealand dollars and we need to get yen. Here we are selling the base currency which is New Zealand dollar and getting yen. So we need to use the bid side rate. So we multiply 18 million New Zealand dollars by 78.45 Japanese yen over New Zealand. New Zealand, New Zealand cancels out. So we have 18 million times 78.45 which gives us 1412100000. So we have this many yen. Now the final step needs to go back to Hong Kong dollars and we know that because the answer is also given in Hong Kong dollars and to calculate the arbitrage profit we need to come up with a number and compare that with what we started with. We started with a hundred million Hong Kong dollars. Now we need to convert this many yen into Hong Kong dollars and obviously that will only be done in the interbank market. So yen to Hong Kong dollars will be computed based on these rates. We are selling yen, we are buying Hong Kong dollars. Hong Kong dollars is the base currency. Since we are buying the base currency, we are going to divide by the offer. So it's going to be this number divided by 14.08 and that gives us 100291190. So the arbitrage profit is the difference between these two numbers, which is 291193. So the best answer is A. So hopefully this made sense. The only way you will truly master this topic is by doing lots of practice. So do as much practice as you can, and I'm sure that on exam day you will be covered.